Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to day 12 of my holiday celebration. Because I was unable to do a video yesterday, I'm going to open two today. And now that finally actually gets me on track with what my little goodie bag says. So this is the 12th day because we had to skip one. So yay, now it makes sense. <laughs> um, Yes, it's just been super duper busy, so I'm afraid it's a double unboxing today. But let's talk eggnog. You either love it or hate it. There appears to be very little middle ground for this particular well-known holiday beverage. But when and where did it begin? We don't know complete and total origins, but it's believed to be linked all the way back to the 13th century when medieval monks would serve a warm brew with eggs and figs. And over the next few centuries, often other things would be added to this drink, but this is the furthest back that we know there was a, an egg boozy drink that was available. In the 17th century, sherry was added, and this became a drink that was for the elite, the richest of the rich, because sherry, milk, and eggs were all very expensive and hard to find ingredients in the 17th century Europe. When the American colonies developed very shortly after that, the American colonies were able to import rum from the Caribbean for far cheaper than anything that came out of Europe. And so, thus began the more American tradition of having a rum eggnog. But even within the colonies, there was some differentiation. For instance, the Southerners preferred whiskey in theirs. And hence, you have the also very popular whiskey eggnog. And during this time, a lot of non-alcoholic versions were also made. Something else of note is that this was a beverage that was originally served warm, and over the years, it's progressed to being served as a cold beverage. George Washington, the first president of the United States, is said to have had a very strong brew eggnog, and only the bravest of men were willing to try it. Supposedly, his eggnog contained brandy, rye whiskey, and Jamaican rum. Although the note that this recipe was written on clearly came from the 19th century, which would have been after the time of George Washington. Regardless, the legend still stands. And how do we feel about eggnog today? Well, it has, actually hasn't changed a whole lot. The base is still the same. It's, you know, pretty much cream, milk, eggs beat together, and you usually add some kind of... Uh, rum, sherry, wine. They've even tried tequila. It's a very simple base that is ample, amply used for experimentation. What do you think of eggnog? For me personally, I have to be in the right mood. When I'm in the right mood, a small cup of eggnog tastes fantastic. Oh, but why do we call it eggnog? Ah, here too is another mystery, as is so much of our holiday traditions. One theory is that the word nag, N-O-G, is from the Old English and translates as a strong beer. Another theory is that nagen, N-O-G-G-I-N, was a small cup used in the 16th century. But it's even possible that it's the American colonists themselves who developed the word eggnog as a mash of the words egg and grog. Regardless, the first time that the word eggnog is ever seen in print is not until 1788. Although we do suspect that the word itself had been being used for a considerable amount of time before then. So yes, let me know what you think of eggnog. And... While you're contemplating that and what kind of comment you want to leave, I'm going to dive right into days 11 and 12. And again, this is Happy Mermaid Yarns. Courtney and Heather have done a fantastic job with this advent calendar. It had to be pre-ordered all the way back in June, which happened to be my birthday month. And it was kind of a big birthday year. So I decided I was going to go out and I was not only going to get this advent, but get the sparkle version. Woo 
Ooh, look at this beautiful gold sparkle yarn. Oh, that's pretty. They call this the star on the tree. Seems very apt, doesn't it? And if you are new, this is 75%, no, 70% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% Delina. Stalina. Oh, I cannot talk. Actually, it is 75% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% Stalina. This is a typo in this particular one because it is 75% merino. 87 yards, 20 grams, and it is a two-ply fingering weight yarn. This has some very rich yellow goldenrod hues in here. It is beautiful. And it also came with my favorite mint. I love these mints. Only next to butter mints, I do believe. All right, moving on to day 12, which will contain another glorious shade from this advent of yarn. If I can get it open. These are all so carefully packaged. I cannot imagine the hours they spent getting this advent together for everybody. It is amazing to me. It's still not, I'm having troubles with this one. Do, do, do. Ah, come on. There we go. Now I should be able to get into it. Oh boy, I see more green. First, we have some ginger snappish herbal tea. Woohoo! I love all of these nice, toasty, warm beverages that have been coming with these. My mint better be in here. Here it is. Here's my mint. And look. Oh, this looks like uh, some kind of a, a, a tree or shrub. What are they calling this? Tree skirt is what they're calling this one. And again, this is the sparkle variety. This one is silver Stellina versus the gold Stellina in here. Super duper pretty. You do, you have some of the paler colors of a Christmas tree in here, including I see like some speckles of yellow even in here. Really, really, really pretty. Thank you so much, Happy Mermaid Yarn. This has been such a fun and wonderful experience. I cannot believe that we are already about halfway done with it. That just blows my mind how fast it's gone and how crazy fast this month has been. So thank you, Happy, Mer Happy Mermaid Yard. Please come back tomorrow and see day 13. And like I always say, please practice kindness. It's a tough time of year for a lot of people. You never know what someone is going through or experiencing. So just be kind. And in return, I hope that you are shown the same kindness. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon.